Why do you want to make a lot of money? Over the years, I have been doing business and marketing coaching since 2009, and I have coached a lot of people who've come to me and say, George, show me how to make a lot of money. And oftentimes it doesn't feel appropriate for me to ask them why, and so we just go into the how to do it authentically and ethically. But today, I want to reflect on that question publicly. Why do you want to make a lot of money? Whether it's a million dollars a year, ten million dollars a year, whatever it is, I chances are it's because you know somebody or you respect somebody who makes a lot of money. And so you think, well, if they can do it, then I can do it too. And look at all the good that I would be able to do with, with all this money. I could fully support my family. I'll have eter eternal sense of security. I will have the freedom to go to festivals and have spiritual uh, services and all the services that help me become a better person and I'll be able to donate lots of money to charity. I mean, that all, all sounds great. The thing is, you can have all of those things without a lot of money, right? Without making lots of money. And that's the first kind of misunderstanding a lot of people have. Um, if you are creative, you can have those things now without waiting until you're making lots of money. Just look at the digital nomad movement, okay? Just Google it, digital nomad movement. Lots of people are not spending very much money to be able to travel, have great experiences, um, and doing what they love, okay? But the, the more important part of it is that you don't, none of us know whether or not we'll be able to make lots of money. Because making lots of money requires the right kind of structures in your life. And by structures, I mean everything from societal structure to your family structure to your genetic structure, okay? And you may or may not have the right structures to make lots of money. I don't know. That's the point, is none of us know whether, whether anybody can make lots of money because plenty of people who have been smart and hardworking have tried making lots of money and they haven't been able to. And at the same time, lots of people who are not smart and not hardworking have made lots of money, even though they didn't expect to. So it's not, it's not how hard you work and how smart you work. There's something else going on here. There's something about destiny or something about the structures that you cannot control, societal structures, life structures, etc. So, and, and one more point on this money-making thing. I... I believe if you're watching this video, you probably would might consider yourself a spiritual person or you believe that spirituality is important. And if you study the world's great spiritual traditions, every single one of them is suspicious about money. Now, I don't think any of them say you must be poor, okay? But what they do say is whether you are rich or poor, the point is not to focus on making money. And the point is not to focus on a particular financial goal in a particular time frame to be able to work this many hours a week. The goal is to pursue spiritual growth, first and foremost, regardless of how much or how little money you make. And if you pursue spiritual growth, then you're fulfilling the purpose of life anyway Regardless, and the other, one more thing I'll say about this is um, the goal to make lots of money uh, in a particular time frame, or whatever, is it's kind of like it's kind of like a, 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 a teenager who says, I just want to play video games all day and eat cookies and pizza all day. That's the best life. That's the kind of life that I aspire to. And the wise parent is looking at that and go, Wow, you are gravely misunderstood about the richness of life and what that's all there is to offer you. The wise parent wants the child to go through certain experiences to be able to develop courage, to be able to develop wisdom and, and uh, good communication skills, to develop humility, develop character, basically. And I think that's what the same, same thing that the universe wants for us 
is, or God, the universe, wants us to develop character as the metric of success rather than, oh, now I'm making this much money and working this many hours so I can give this much to charity and have this many freedom experiences. The problem with pursuing the money and the experiences and the number of hours you're working is that you sacrifice things and people along the way, including your own spirituality oftentimes. So, why do you want to make a lot of money? Ah, because you actually want the things behind the money. You want the freedom, which is actually a mental and spiritual state. You want the sense of security, which is actually about being part of a stable community, which doesn't require much money. You want pride. You want fulfillment, which is really all spiritual stuff, which doesn't require lots of money. You want the ability to, to, to help certain causes, which doesn't require money either. It's, if you talk to master fundraisers, okay, people who, who, people who donate a lot of money to charity, they say what's actually more valuable than having money donated to charity is the ability to communicate and organize people to support that cause. That's much more important than having money to donate to charity. So why do you want a lot of money? Oh, maybe that's not the right question then. Maybe the question is how can you pursue your life's purpose with joyful productivity every day, regardless of whether you're meant to make lots of money or not. Because again, we don't know. You might, or you might not. But the point is, pursue the right thing. I hope this is helpful, and until the next video, I wish you well.